Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about holiday 2019 makeup releases, my thoughts on them, some of the sets. This is a part two. I did a part one to this video talking about other holiday makeup releases. If you want to see that, I will link it. And I did also review the Metropolis palette recently. So check that out if you are interested. So let's get into the video. The first set is not a makeup set, but I know is something very popular. It is the Boom Boom Cream Set by Sol de Janeiro. It's $59. There's a shower gel for three ounces. There's an eight ounce Boom Boom Cream, a hand cream, and a hair mist. Now, if you are a lover of this scent, which I love this scent, I do think that this is a good set or if you've been wanting to try it out. However, $59 is a lot, so if you only want the lotion, I recommend getting just the Boom Boom Cream, which I think is about $44. Now, I have tried the body spray and also the Boom Boom Cream. I love the scent, but unfortunately, the cream gives me eczema on my hands, so I can't use it. Personally, I will not be buying this set because of that, but honestly, if it didn't cause me the skin problem, I would get this because I love the smell. Next up is the Tarte Holiday Palette, which honestly, there may be more. Um, it is the Winter Wonder Glam Luxe Eye Palette. It's $54. There's some pinks, there's neutrals, there's a, several glitter shades. Um, it also comes with an eyeliner or a mascara or end of mascara. I gotta say, I've never actually bought one of the Tarte Limited Edition Holiday Palettes, but from reviews I've seen, they're usually not great. Now, I can't say that for certain because I have not tried this, but personally, I do have the Tartlet in Bloom and the Tarte Toasted Palette. I think those are fantastic quality, so check out reviews before you would buy this. Maybe it is good this year, but based on previous reviews, I would say stick with one of their permanent palettes like the Tartlet Palettes, and those are cheaper. <laughs> now, we know Too Faced releases a lot for the holidays, and I've got a long list here. There's the Christmas Cookie House Party for $58, which is a 20 eyeshadow palette, and then also a small eyeshadow palette and a small face palette. I think those all come together. Um, and then they're also releasing their Gingerbread Man and Gingerbread Girl liquid lipsticks again. Those are $21 each, and I do own the Gingerbread Man one. I bought it last year. And their liquid lipstick formula is very nice. That is a pretty coppery brown type shade. Um, I think it's good quality. Uh, what else? Also, they've got, in that set comes with the eyeshadow insurance and the mascara. Too Faced palettes, again, usually don't have great reviews at the holiday season, although last year's Gingerbread Spice palette the reviews were great and they're coming out with the extra spicy palette that's $49 but honestly it looks pretty similar to last year's palette but if you didn't get last year's palette maybe you would want this one because this one's in their traditional tin packaging um there's also a damn girl mascara ornament for $13 also a set of four glosses for $25 I've actually never tried a Too Faced gloss and then there's also a set of mini regular lipsticks. I don't think I've tried their regular lipsticks. Like I said, only the liquid lipsticks. I do think that the Gingerbread Man and Gingerbread Girl lipsticks are pretty. Like I said, I already own one of them. I would be weary of their palettes too. Again, I have not seen them in person, but I would be aware just based on reviews I've seen from previous years. And I did buy one of their cardboard limited edition eyeshadow palettes a few years ago, and it was not that great. Next up is a beauty blender set. You get three beauty blenders, or four beauty blenders, and four solid cleansers. I forgot to write this one down, but I think it's $65, somewhere around there. Now, this is a good deal if you would use all these beauty blenders and the solid cleansers. Personally, I've had a beauty blender, and I think that the Shop Miss A sponge is just as good, and it's like $1.50. That's just me, though. And I've tried the solid cleanser. To me, it just seemed like bar soap. So again, this is not for me, but if you are a diehard Beauty Blender fan, this would be a good deal. But if you've never even tried a Beauty Blender, maybe just buy the one to see if it's worth the hype. Then there is a set from Milk Makeup. This is the Milk MVPs. 
and there's a Kush mascara, Hydro Grip Primer, Cooling Water, their Watermelon Stick Serum, a mini highlighter, and a mini bronzer, all for $45. Actually, this seems like a pretty good deal if you wanna try most of these products. I've tried their regular primer stick. I did not think it was that great, but I've never tried anything else. Now, if you're only interested in like one or two of these, the primer full size is $30, and the full size of those sticks, like the bronzer stick and the highlighter, are $24. And they also do sell those in minis for $14. So again, if you only want to try one or two of these, you could buy all of these in the mini size. And it would be cheaper than buying the whole set. But it does seem like a good value if you're interested in most of the products. Stila then has some sets. And they have... Three mini glittering glows for $25, and I think there were new shades. I think limited edition shades in that. But then there's also larger ones for $49 where you get four colors. Then there is a set of liquid lipstick minis for $20. Those colors are Bocce, Perla, and Serenata. I know for sure that Bocce and Perla were in the set from last year. I didn't buy it, but I was really close to buying it but then I realized I don't need more lipsticks. Like I said last year, I did buy the set of the mini Stila glitters for $25. They were different colors than this year, and I've actually used up two of the three and I'm getting close to finishing the third one. The word of caution I have on the Stila glitters is that they do dry up. The last one I have now is kind of starting to dry up at that one year mark, and a lot of people I've seen on YouTube say, they really don't last that much more than a year. And I had one that was drying up and I revived it with oil. However, it doesn't stick to the eyes very well after that. So it makes it creamy again, but then you get a lot of fallout. So personally, if you already have a lot of the Stila glitters, I wouldn't recommend any of these sets. However, if you want to try different colors, this is a good value because one full size is $24. But if there's only one color that really draws you in, I would recommend just buy one for full size at $24, just so that they don't dry up on you. Then Norvina is already releasing a volume two to her first palette. I feel like that other palette just came out last week, but what are you gonna do? If people are buying it, they're gonna release it. So $60, just like the first one, but the color story is a little different. Greens, yellows, pinks, teals. It looks pretty, but there are a few shades like those greens. To me, they look like they're repeating themselves in this palette. Now, people have said that the first one has an amazing formula. So if this is more your color scheme, it probably is just as good as the first one. However, I'm a little turned off that Anastasia is releasing so many palettes back to back, and I saw a lot of people on the Trend Mood 1 Instagram saying the same thing. They had the Jackie Ina, then they had the Norvina Volume 1, and now the Volume 2, all within a span of three to four weeks. I think it's a lot, and $60 is expensive. I personally will be passing over this, but my guess is it's going to be quite good. Then Fenty is coming out with a new highlighter and also a roll-on glitter highlighter. So the first one is, it's a hollow pink sparkle. It's $38. And then there's a liquid roll-on 3D glitter for $28. I have not tried the highlighters from Fenty specifically because I've swatched them in Sephora and they are quite glittery. I don't mind some glitter in my highlighters, but these seemed like a bit too much for me. But if you like them, this definitely looks very pretty. Um, I do want to try some stuff from Fenty Beauty, but... I think a roll-on glitter is also something I personally would not get a lot of use out of. I don't really put on like body glitter, but this does seem to be a huge trend right now, but it is not for me. Then the last set that I want to talk about is from Smashbox. It is $22 and it is deluxe sizes of their primer water, their primer riser, and then their original photo finish primer. I actually think this one is quite a very good deal because I do like the primer water, although I think it's overpriced. The e.l.f. setting spray is just as good, but $22 for all three, but again, they're not full size. And then the primer I really like, but again, the full size is $39 for a traditional pore filling primer. It's a little expensive, but I do enjoy it. I've never tried the primerizer and I've heard good things about it. So I'm kind of considering this set, 
We'll see, I don't really need it, but I know I like two out of the three products and getting to try them all for $22 is not bad, I think. Alrighty, so that is it for this video about some new holiday makeup releases. Let us know what you think if you are interested in any of these. I think some of these are good, maybe some of them not so much worth it. So yeah, let us know what you think and check out the part one to this video.